Anyone who offers you cocaine is no friend. Say no. Don't do drugs. A story of greed on Wall Street. Why takeover madness began and how it allowed a few to exploit their inside information. The important series, Wrong Way on Wall Street, continues tomorrow on ABC's World News Tonight with Peter Jennings. I'm Bud Heading. And I'm Marla Weech. Tonight on the Eyewitness News Update, NBA brass give Orlando the once-over. But will they give us a pro basketball franchise? Pat Clark will talk live with Orlando Magic President Pat Williams about that. Also, the finders are coming to Florida. So says Genghis Plato, new leader of the cult group. And you've tried everything else for sinus relief. Now try tonight's cover story and do your nose and eyes a big favor. Those stories and more next on Channel 9. Chevy S10 4x4 has a beautiful feature, Instatrack, which allows you to shift from two-wheel to four-wheel high and back without stopping. But in truth, the real beauty is where it takes you to. This is the Chevy S10 compact truck. With sport striping, rally wheels, and fuel injection, it goes pretty good. With a price like this, it's as good as gone. At Metropolitan, it's easy to get a loan, no matter what kind of home you have. All you have to do is call. You mean my home can be frame or CBS? That's right. Great. What if I live slightly out of the city limits? No problem. If you own your home, you could get from five to $50,000. What if the house is as old as I am? No problem. All right. Call right now in Orlando, Melbourne, or Daytona, or 1-800-EASY-YES everywhere else. It's Dairy Queen, an American original with another all-time hit, the one and only Dairy Queen Blizzard. Specially blended with your choice of a Butterfinger, a heat bar, or cookies and more. So rich, so thick, you gotta spoon it up. Cruise on down and spoon up a Blizzard, only at Dairy Queen. An American original. We treat you right. This is WFTV Channel 9, Orlando. Live from Channel 9, Central Florida's leading news station, this is the Eyewitness News Update. Good evening. Our top story tonight, NBA owners check out Orlando and seem to like what they see. In a key step on the road to a pro basketball franchise, the city today hosted a delegation from the NBA Expansion Committee. This group will decide in April whether Orlando gets the team it's been seeking. Today, they met with local leaders and members of the Orlando Magic and toured the construction site of the new downtown arena. Despite the presence of union laborers protesting low wages on the project, the tour went smoothly and the NBA is reportedly impressed with Orlando's commitment to pro basketball. But will that be enough to make the Orlando Magic a reality? Right now, Pat's across the studio with the one man who might know the answer to that question tonight. Pat? Thanks, bud. Do you know the answer to that, Patrick? Boy, I wish I did. I know the group is heading down probably to look at the last city on their list in the southern part of our state, Pat, but we had a good day today, and when they left here about 7 o'clock, all of us were very upbeat, and uh, this NBA group was very impressed with Orlando today. I know that you did a lot of things today. Is there any way you could quickly just kind of go over what you did? They arrived a little before two. There were four of them, right? There were four of them. The, uh, the David Stern's assistant, Russ Granick, the owner of the Celex, Alan Cohen, Dick Block, the uh, Phoenix owner, and Charlie Thomas of Houston. From about 2 to 2.35, we were in the Expo Center looking at a model of the arena, the blueprints, the plans for the building. They got a full update on where the building stands now and the projections on getting it concluded by September 1 of 88. 